Have you got a Chevy Traverse that has cracked or moisture inside of the tail lights? Well, today we're going to fix them. Hey everybody, AD Johnson here again with a crazy fun. Today we're going to check out our 2014 Chevy Traverse that has bad tail lights. And the reason they're bad is somehow when they designed these tail lights, both sides, driver and passenger, they end up not staying sealed. So you can see here we've got all this condensation that has come inside of the the tail light and uh, compounding that we had somebody come along and smack it to try to get the droplets to all go together. And they did it on both sides and it ended up shattering it. The other side we'll show you in a bit it actually the lens has broken and come off which makes it so that you can't wash the car as obviously we haven't been able to wash it for a long time because water will get in, it'll get to those tail light bulbs, and then you'll have a short blow fuse, whatnot. So today we're gonna repair those. We'll start with this driver side tail light. Now I also think that this process, this procedure, I believe goes from a 2009 traverse to a 2017 traverse. Obviously the tail lights themselves, the tail light housings have changed over time but I believe this applies to all of them. It's a very straightforward fix. All you need is a screwdriver, flat blade screwdriver, and a seven millimeter socket wrench. And you pop these covers off. This one's already off. Okay, seven millimeter screw. Two of them. Oh, whoops, that's the wrong one. This cover should be back in place here. Yeah. That's for another part of the body. We'll get those back. Okay, once you have those two screws back down, this whole thing will pop out. You can see the connectors there now one thing to keep in mind this stud is going to go back inside that hole that's the only thing that holds it on this end oh and i've got water there's so much water in there it's dripping out so when we'll and i'll show you the reverse but that's the only attachment point is this guy and then the two uh, bolts that we took out that's just so A lot of water in there. Wow. This, this one came from carparts.com. Oh, we didn't have to do all that harnessing. We have all the harnessing. Everything's in place. Do we have bulbs? For $180, we should have bulbs. Sweet. We're set. Okay. All we need to do is unplug this guy. Don't be fooled by this metal clamp. <laughs> it's actually on this other side. You press this little guy and it comes right apart. <laughs> okay. Now, nice new, pristine, and it came with all the bulbs. Now this one came from carparts.com. I believe it was 180 plus shipping. And I had to order from them three times. The first two times they said that it was in stock. It was a single, and then I did, tried to get both sides, and they charged my credit card, and then a day later they refunded it back and said they were out of stock. I tried a week later, couldn't find them anywhere else, but now they had the pair, and I need both, so I, I purchased the pair and paid for the pair. Well, this time, they only gave back half the money, and they shipped one of them. So it was finally a success, just something to keep in mind if you're dealing with car parts, that their inventory counts may not be accurate. They don't always say they're out of stock, but they do refund your money back. So in the end, it all worked well, except I lost a day while I was waiting, thinking, oh, this is shipped, it's on its way, and it wasn't. They refunded the money back. 
So anyway, quite pleased with the product once I got it. So it's very easy. Since all of the bulbs are here, all you have to do is connect the one connector back in place here. Oops, wrong way. Got to put it in the right way. Okay. So that one's correct. Now, as I mentioned before, this stud goes into this hole. So all you do is align stud with the hole. Well, now I can And then push it in place. And voila. Look at how sharp that looks, brand new and everything. Do this step in reverse. Do not, do not lose your screw down in there. It, it will fall down into the bottom of the car. So. Get it started. Get your wrench on there. And get that baby turning. You don't want to lose it. It's not captured very well by the plastic. There's gaps in there and it'll go white right down to the into the body cavity. And you don't it want to be no doing fun. a body cavity search. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you that from personal experience. Maybe that's it. You just have to angle it. So that it gets captured in the hole. Now we'll do the one on the passenger side. Same thing here, you got the same covers. Search necessary. This guy pops right out. You can see where this one actually broke off. So we don't have any water. Well, at least we might in the other part of the housing, but water came out on this one. still water in there. Okay, same thing on this connector. It has that little tab that you press on that side. You just push it and it should come apart. And of course it doesn't. There we go. It was just in there hard. Okay. And this second one, came from W.C. Whitney. They actually showed that it was in stock, charged my card, and it, again, I, it was either 162 or 182, I can't remember which. But, oh, by the way, it, I went to Amazon, I went to eBay, typically the ones that were there, way over 200 and a lot of them were double the price. So they weren't even options. But J.C. Whitney, these guys were really good. It was like $180, I think that included shipping. Oh, lost the, the rubber there. Maybe that's why it was so hard to get out. Hold on. This guy didn't want to come out like it's supposed to. Um, a little bit of prying, it pops right off. Okay, what I was saying was eBay, Amazon were much more expensive. WC Whitney, or yeah, WC Whitney, when I first tried them, 
they were out of stock. A week later, I checked again after the other one fell through, and they were in stock. So I went in and bought it. Very smooth transaction. Very happy with it. They were one of the very cheapest. So very happy, and it works like a charm. Okay, so reverse order on these guys again. Okay, put the caps back on. And we're done. Okay, successful swap out of both the driver's side, passenger side, complete tail light assemblies. One thing I learned from this is if the seal breaks and you do get condensation on the inside, don't tap on it. Don't let anybody do anything to this because then you've lost, immediately lost $180 for the replacement times two for each side if it happens on both sides. It is kind of common. I, we have another a Dodge Caliber where the tail light filled up with water as well. The blinker started doing weird stuff because the water was getting into the connections. In that case, we just drained out the water and didn't have to replace the whole assembly. In this case, since somebody broke them, I couldn't put a little hole in it or whatever to make it so that it could dry out and that the water could flow out. Then you're just doomed. You're stuck with $180 on both of them. So, there are other uh, traverse repairs that you might be interested in. You can check them out as they show up here. And as always, let's go find some great ideas and make some awesome products. See you next time.